Hey guys, Molar48 here, and today I'm gonna be uh, doing I'm gonna be doing an, an uh, unboxing and review of my Union Pacific Dash Nine by Athern. Okay, here we go. This video I've been owing even longer than my BNSF unboxing and review. If you've seen that, I'll put a you can go to my channel, put a link to that in the description. Actually, I don't need to because it's right next to the subscribe box. So, anyways, yeah, you can you can see that video that, that's on my channel. That's the last video that I posted. And, um, yeah, so this one, I, this locomotive, I've, I've been owing a video on this one for even longer. I've had this one, I don't know, since last year. And, yeah, which isn't that long ago. So, like a long time ago haven't gotten around to doing it yet and sorry about the wait guys I've been kinda busy so this will be my first video for, in a while so yeah let's get into this this is um as I said before Union Pacific Dash 9 um it by it's by Athern and it's a decent if you see this DCC ready sticker, that doesn't mean it's ready for DCC. That means it's ready for decoder. This locomotive already has a decoder in it. I put one in it, just a Digitrax 8 or 9 pin. That'll do. And yeah, let's get right into it. First of all, in the box, you get a. Let's see if I can get this out. And sign up for Ather News thing. Iron house, all this. You can read it if you want to, and if you get one. Um, yeah. So here's um a diagram of all the parts, right there. You can see the dummy plug right there. That's in house somewhere, off. And yeah, there it is. Put these back in the box, and then. Here. Okay, here's the locomotive. Yeah, there's the locomotive. Let's take it out. It has a layer of plastic right there. Atherin boxes are kind of a pain to unbox because they have so many layers, but it's worth it. It is worth it because it keeps it nice and all good, if you know what I mean don't know what I mean. I mean, it keeps it good, nice and detailed without parts falling off. These things are also annoying. They just keep the hand real straight. Take the other one out on the other side. And there it is. It's focusing. Oopsies. Sorry about that. I accidentally turned off the camera. So, I'm so stupid. Okay, um, so here, as I was saying, this is a Dash 9 uh, yeah, by Union Pacific. Let's go over the details. This has, I forgot what these are called, but it has this, the antenna. You can actually, if you run your hand along this, you can actually see, feel all the bolts and everything. Nice, clear hand, nice, clear writing. It's really small, but it's actually, you can actually read it if you get closely. It's not, fo it's didn't, not focusing. Um, yeah, the horn is on it, unlike unlike this one which I'm annoyed about it fell off a while ago the exhaust stack the exhaust pipe whatever you want to call it the radiator right there feels all nice the shell is hard but not hard to get off you just have to uncouple these four pins do not unscrew these four bolts or screws because that'll just take off the shell this is a six axle, axle obviously. Um, I got this one not just because it's a Dash 9, because I liked the wings on the front, the lightning bolt, and the flag, and also the Building America. Oh my gosh, it's cracked. Cool. Um, yeah, and... Yeah, so... The fan, the all, the all these look nice. The wheel also looks nice. The wheel on the side right there. Um, the back, the grab irons are um, are nice and sturdy. They're not going to break off. And the, all the parts come installed. 
the number boards do not light up. So, yeah, there's the light, the sand filler hatch, I believe. This does not have a snowblow on the back, like a lot of locomotives, actually all locomotives. Knuckle couplers, nicely white painted handrails right there, and steps. Gas tank, nice and big, with the red dot. And there's a, right there, a vent. Top bolts, as I said. More grab irons on the on the nose and on the right there. The chain has holes in it. It's really detailed. Ditch lights do not work. They're just painted silver. The windows nicely nicely clear. The um, the head the uh, number boards do not light up. As I said, handrail right on top. Grab iron. There's a snow plow. Pretty sure you can take that off if you don't want it, but I don't know why you would want to take it off. Nose. This is number 9599. This has been on a lot of my videos so far, because I haven't gotten around to doing doing a um, review yet. And, yeah, I'll give you a video of it driving right now. So, here it comes. Through the corner. I redesigned my layout since I had to take it down. I'll show you that in a second. Here it comes. $195.99. And the car. Dang it. Okay. One second. I will not edit this part out just because. Um. So the thing is, with this locomotive, its minimum radius is 18. So it usually rips a lot of the cars right off the track. I'm actually kind of surprised it fell off because it usually doesn't do that. But yeah, so I'll just rest back and forth. Um, so yeah, there it is, nice and shiny. It doesn't this doesn't have a lot of gloss on it? There it is again. This thing runs smoothly. It doesn't run at extremely low speeds though. It kind of starts... Kind of starts moving... And it's kind of hard to determine. This is like as slow as it can go and it's right there. So, whoops. so, yeah, there's that. So I'll show you the design. So, oh, and by the way, these cars are fine. They're just not that good cars. But yeah, so this is the design of my layout. This is the design of it. I have. I don't have a switch here because I don't have another switch here. I should probably get another switch there. I have a turn, I'm just haven't taken it out yet. And have a switch there. Have run around track. I think it's what they're called. Um switch here. These switches. They're pretty good for Bachman switches, surprisingly. Um I have I just have this here just because it's I like having the uh three railing track in the yard. So I have that track coming around. Gonna switch here and yeah make sure to like comment subscribe tell me in the comments what you want more of if you want more if you want more operating sessions if you want more if you want RC tanking let me know what you would like me to do I'm always up for suggestions I always look at your comments make sure to like comment subscribe as usual um, thank you for watching. Oh yeah, and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you've already done it. it means a lot to me. If other subscribers, if other, no not subscribers, if other YouTubers haven't said it yet, all YouTubers really appreciate it when they, when you subscribe to them because it just shows you enjoy watching their videos and everything. So thank you so much. And yeah, thanks. Bye.